Okay, hi. Recently, I broke my Blue Yeti mic, so now I have to record with my phone, and now my voice sounds like three times worse. And it made me think about how there was a time where I was like really insecure about my voice. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna talk about today. Um, sorry for the bad audio. If there's like background noise or anything, yeah, I'll, I'll be getting a new mic soon. So let's get into it. Back even before middle school, I was into I was like really into making videos. Um, me, my brother, and my uncle would help, and my little cousin. We would be making like these Nerf gun movies, and we would be the actors. And we would be little kids. It wasn't that big of a deal, but yeah, I love making these videos. Um, but at the time, I haven't really done any voiceovers, not for like myself or anything else. Uh, I was like really uncomfortable speaking in front of the mic. Even during school school projects or like school assignments where they made you speak into uh, like record a video for something, I really sucked at those. Even now I still kind of suck but I'm not as scared as before. But continuing on, I bought my first mic in middle school. At the time I was really into the game Tiaria or Terraria my bad and i wanted to make these you know let's play videos that was the type of content i watched and that's what i wanted to make uh but that never happened i spent two years with this mic doing absolutely nothing probably like actually stepping inside but i didn't do anything with the mic until let's say two years later where I wanted to join, you know, Rocket League teams, like casual parties and Minecraft parties. And I set the goal of trying to overcome my shyness. It was something that I really didn't like about myself and something I wanted to get over. At the same time, uh, me and my dad started making vlog videos uh, because my dad liked to travel. He wanted like camping, going to different places, and he wanted to make videos, I wanted to help. So I would just like record videos, of me vlogging, like, hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, and that's when I first learned about listening back to my own voice. Hell man, it was. I did not like the sound of that. I was still in middle school, I hadn't hit like puberty fully yet. And my voice was still squeaky as hell. I think disliking your voice is a normal thing. Um, I find it very, very common. Especially people who record with like their phones. They're listening back to themselves in their phone. And they're like, ew, who the fuck is this? Right? I remember hearing a study, or I remember hearing something in middle school saying that your voice sounds better, like in your head, because you feel all the vibrations in your body versus like the sound that comes that actually comes out of your mouth right the microphone can't pick up every single vibration especially like those lower tones or vibrations or frequencies whatever dude i need to get back on the school grind <laughs> so there were a lot of on and offs with this i would start making videos and then stop because of certain reasons but throughout this time, I'd be watching these videos about like how to grow on YouTube, right? And then I'd come across a video that was saying like, you need to post 50 videos before you can make any judgment. Just post 50 videos, get it over with, then see how you like it, you know? So this time I was into playing Minecraft most of the time. And this was during like, right before COVID. So, I think Bad Wars and Bad Wars commentaries were really popular, at least that's what I've seen, and I wanted to make those videos. But again, there was the problem with my, my shyness, I didn't know what to talk about, I didn't like listening back to my own voice, but you know, sometimes when you got those fears, you just gotta, you just gotta push through, man. Like even now, recording this video, I'm nervous, because... I haven't done one of these like longer videos where I'm talking about my life and dude it's terrifying. I'm like shaking in my stomach <laughs> if that even makes sense. Yeah but before it was even worse because I didn't know what I was doing like at all 
had no script, I was just playing and saying whatever came to my mind. And the end result? Um, nothing really. There was like a dude that commented on my video saying how loud my fan noise was, but that's about it. And I just continued posting. My goal of getting the 50 videos without overthinking it. I would just make montages sometimes. But I try to focus my efforts on speaking. Despite hating my voice, I continued on. And during this time, I, I learned how to make my voice sound better. Not just in the way I talk, but also editing my microphone settings, uh, figuring out OBS filters. I did get to a point where I put so much bass on my voice that it just sounded muffled like hell. You could barely understand me. <laughs> you could tell it was boosted like hell. It made it a lot easier to like listen back to my own voice. So I just, I just kept it, you know? And with that, people started saying they, they liked my voice. Which made no sense to me whatsoever. Like maybe now I get it, but before, holy shit, I was I was high pitched, weird speaking. I don't even know, man. <laughs> but yeah, even though I like the sound of my voice when I use like these filters, the only problem that comes with that is that when people compliment you, they don't really like the compliments don't hit, you know, because you know you're using filters. You know this isn't like your real voice that you're speaking with. So it took me a really long time to finally like accept my voice for what it is. And there was never like a main, like a certain point where I'm like, oh shit, I think these guys are right. My voice sounds good. Like, no, nah, it was, it was really gradual. Um, there are a lot of things that come to play, like my own self-confidence and working on like mental health. Like if I hadn't spent a couple months trying to fix my mental health, I would probably have like the same opinion about my voice but it really came down to those first videos like I get it it's not easy at all especially if you don't have like the gear compared to other people you haven't done this before you have like friends that are expecting good content out of you or whatever even though it's your first video and it doesn't make any sense <laughs> yeah there's just, like a lot of things that keep you holding back especially in 2024 there are a lot of people that I'm seeing posting their new videos or posting videos for the first time. They're doing it, you know? It took me <laughs> two and a half years or whatever to figure out to finally build up the resolve to finally post a video. To finally post like a commentary video. Okay, I don't really have a main point here. I just wanted to record a story that I'm pretty sure a lot of people relate to. And if you look back at my, uh, like, okay, and if you look back at my shorts, you can kind of see how many times I've been, like, talking into the mic or into the camera from other videos. And, like, dude, it's possible. The best thing about this is that, you know, you don't even have to upload these. If you want to get over the fear of, like, posting videos, you can just record until you're ready to upload. And if you feel like that's a waste of time, then you can just post them on YouTube. Nobody sees it, then you don't have to be embarrassed, you know? And once you start getting better and get better gear, you can just like private them. Private the old videos. But yeah, that's what I wanted to talk about. If you've listened this far with my <laughs> tiny iPhone mic that doesn't, that probably doesn't sound that good, um, I appreciate it. If you want to hear more about my life, I've created like a small blog where I'm just posting random things at random times. It's not too, it's not too deep. Okay, it's just like random lessons that I wanna share or random events, you know? So yeah, take a look at that. And if you enjoyed this, consider, cons okay, consider, consider sub 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 subscribing. <laughs> okay, bye.